Ukraine prepares new counter-offensive, U.S. administration unveils details. Ukraine will look to launch a counter-offensive in 2025 with the support of the approved $61 billion aid package from the United States, as well as additional Western aid funding, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told the Financial Times. He noted that he still expects Russian progress in the near term on the battlefield despite a new U.S. funding package approved in April because you can't flip the switch right now. Speaking at the Financial Times in Washington, Sullivan noted that with incoming U.S. weapons supplies, Ukraine will have the capacity to hold the line during the year 2024 and guarantee that Ukraine will be able to withstand the Russian attack. Sullivan echoed Ukraine's hopes that the country will move forward to recapture the territory that the Russians have taken. The publication notes that the clearest such articulation as to how the Biden administration sees the war evolving in the coming months in case of the re-election of Joe Biden as the president in November. The Financial Times notes that any new Ukrainian offensive would require additional military aid from Western allies, including the United States. The most recent $61 billion aid package from the US took months to pass through Congress amid political infighting. Ukrainian officials do not rule out that the defense forces will be able to turn the tide at the front in 2025. In February, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced that the armed forces of Ukraine were preparing a new counter-offensive. Experts at the Institute for the Study of War ISW believe that Ukraine should seize the initiative on the battlefield this year after U.S. security assistance reaches the front. U.S. officials have indicated their support for new Ukrainian counter-offensive operations in 2025, although ISW continues to believe that Ukraine should seize the initiative on the battlefield as soon as possible, given that if this initiative is given to the Russian side during 2024, it will provide Russia with a number of advantages. Ukraine's ability to liberate its territory and conduct counter-offensive operations rests on a number of unmade decisions in the West, Russia and Ukraine, and any external efforts to impose a timeline on Ukrainian counter-offensive operations ignore the reality of the battlefield situation, the ISW stressed. The Russian army is advancing around the city of Avdiv in Donetsk and Kupiansk in Kharkiv region. This was reported by the U.S. Institute for the Study of War. The analysts assess that Russian forces are likely to gain some tactical advantages near Kupiansk but are unlikely to be able to translate them into the broader mechanized maneuvers needed for an operationally significant advance capable of capturing more territory in Kharkiv Oblast and pushing towards the administrative borders of Luhansk and Donetsk Oblasts. It is reported that the Russian troops entered the center of Kislivka, located in the southeast of Kupian, from where they advanced to a depth of 480 meters in the direction of Kotlyarivka. The Kharkiv Regional Administration confirmed that the Russians resumed their offensive in the direction of Kupiansk. Fierce battles are currently taking place for Kislivka, Tabayivka, Sinkivka, Petropavlivka, Stelmaksivka, Berestovoy, Novoyagorivka, Grikivka, Makivka, Nevsky, Turnev, Yampolivka, Torsky, Serebryansk and Bylogorivka. The U.S. Institute notes that the Russian army has advanced to the northwest of Avdiv, especially the central part of Okrutny and west of Solovayovo. It is noted in the information that Russia has taken control of most of the city of Arkhangelsk, located in the northeast of Okrutny and north of Avdiv. In addition, the Russians claim to have advanced 3.85 kilometers wide and 2 kilometers deep in the central part of Arkhangelsk, as well as east of Novoalexandrivka, northwest of Karamik, in the direction of Novopokrovsk and Sokolivka and Pervomaysk to Novelsky, west of Semenivka and Berdichev. Russia will test NATO with hybrid attacks? Commander of Finnish Army. The Russian Federation may not directly attack NATO countries, but will continue hybrid attacks, such as signal jamming and interference in elections, stated the new commander of the Finnish Defense Forces, General Jan Jakola. Some officials, such as US President Joe Biden and Danish Defense Minister Trin Bramson, have expressed concerns that Russia's long term plans may include an attack on NATO. Of course, testing the Article 5 is always possible, but if we take correct action and maintain unity, I consider an attack unlikely," said Jakola. In his opinion, Russia is currently too occupied with preparing for a new summer offensive in Ukraine, 
to consider the possibility of attacking NATO. The point for the Russians is that they wish to cause as much division in Europe as possible so that our unity and cohesion is a bit weaker. The general noted, at the beginning of 2024, statements began to circulate in the media regarding Russia's preparations for an attack on NATO countries. Germany in particular is purportedly already preparing for such a scenario. The statements made in the media prompted reactions from several NATO countries. The Ministry of Defense of Lithuania stated that they do not see a threat of Russia attacking NATO countries as Moscow is fully focused on the war in Ukraine. Russia is preparing for a large-scale conventional conflict with NATO, according to the Institute for the Study of War, based on an analysis of several Russian financial, economic and military indicators. The think tank explains that while any such conflict won't happen imminently, Russia is likely planning on a shorter timeline than some Western analysts have previously posited. The Russian military is undertaking structural reforms to simultaneously support the war in Ukraine while expanding its conventional capabilities in preparation for a potential future conflict with NATO. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu has outlined several outgoing efforts to bolster Russia's conventional military capabilities, claiming that the Russian military plans to form two combined arms armies and 14 divisions and 16 brigades by the end of 2024.